What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmison here from Schwartz Edmison Web Design. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you five tips, tricks, hacks, whatever you want to call them for designing faster and more efficiently in Squarespace. Tip number one is you can, if you click on the navigation panel window and then click slash forward slash on your keyboard, you can search for any navigation panel on your site. So CSS, custom CSS, takes you right to the custom CSS window. Now this is especially helpful for those really deep navigation uh, windows like the custom code injection, for example. Instead of having to go to settings, advanced code injection, takes a really long time. Instead, what you can do is from the home panel, just click on the navigation, click forward slash, and then code injection, hit enter, takes you right to code injection. So that's an awesome tool. I'm gonna to be using this all the time now. Instead of manually clicking back and forth, forward slash, go wherever you want to go. So this next tip works really well in conjunction with that forward slash search tip. So for this tip, if you double click on the back arrow, so for example, I'm in code injection, I wanna get back to the home page panel. If you double click, it automatically takes you back to the home panel no matter where you were originally at. So instead of having to go to settings, advanced, code injection, and then if I wanna get back to the home panel, I have to go advanced, settings, home. Now, with our last tip, we know we can just do forward slash code injection. And then if I wanna get back to the home panel, I can just double click on the advanced, take me back to the home panel. Tip number three, not that helpful to be honest, especially compared to the last two, <laughs> but uh, I want you guys to know it. So a keyboard shortcut for going into the preview mode, you can just hit escape and it'll automatically full screen your website and then you can hit escape again to bring back the navigation panel. So instead of having to move your hand, put the mouse all the way up in the top left hand corner, this saves you precious milliseconds to jump into preview mode. So again, that is the escape key. Tip number four, uh, let's go to our custom CSS window. And let's say we have a bunch of CSS in here. And when you're writing CSS, you're not gonna be perfect with your indents all the time. Uh, it's just not gonna happen. So the way to pretty up your CSS that you've written is whatever you wanna pretty up, you can just select and then hit shift and then tab, and it'll automatically perfectly align your CSS, how it should be indented and how it should look. So that's a really handy tool. Um, you can just highlight whatever you want to, shift and then tab. Another shortcut is to highlight everything in the CSS panel. You can hit control and then A if you're on Windows or command and A if you're on a map and then hit shift tab and it'll automatically um, align everything properly that's in your CSS window. And finally, tip number five is a CSS tip. So in a previous video, we looked at how to create a full width map section, but the thing about making full width sections like this is it becomes very hard to add new blocks to the section. So for example, when we hover over the block, we no longer get those teardrops um, because they're off the screen. So the only way to add a new block to this section is to click the plus block. Um, but again, it be you can't really drag blocks to the left or right when a block is taking up the full width of the page. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick tip on uh, how to make sure that the, these types of effects only are present on the live site and not in editor mode. So if I right click and then click inspect and we go up to the, the body of the page. So here we have the body and there's all these different classes that are on the body. And one of the classes that gets added uh, is .sqs edit mode. So SQS edit mode is a class that gets added when the website is uh, in this editor mode with all of this editor interface loaded. So the way uh, a tip that we can use to make sure that this 
uh, CSS only applies when the website is not in editor mode is by excluding uh, the CSS when that class is present. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So here is the CSS that makes this map block go full width. So if I wrap this CSS, if I contain it um, within a body, and then we want to target the body, but not when the body contains .sqs edit mode. And now if I open up some curly brackets and then put the last curly bracket below the content. So now this CSS styling will not apply when uh, the body has a class of .sqs edit mode. So if I save that, it's now very easy to add new blocks to this section because it's just like a regular index page now. Um, but if we go to the full width when the site is no longer in edit mode and when this site is live on the internet, uh, we get this full width effect. So this is a good way to, if you have some like complex styling that you don't necessarily want to appear in the editor mode, but that you want to have that effect when it's live, you can wrap whatever CSS that is in this body not.sqs edit mode, and then it will only apply to the live site. So those are my five tips for designing faster and more efficiently in Squarespace. If you enjoyed these tips and you want to further your knowledge of Squarespace and learn how to create even more uh, complex layouts and custom layouts, go ahead and check out my custom layouts in Squarespace course. I cover some really cool custom layouts that can be accomplished in Squarespace uh, with custom CSS. We go over some really cool things. So if you're interested in raising your prices as a Squarespace web designer, charging more for your services by delivering even more custom Squarespace websites with custom layouts, then go ahead and check out that course. Link will be in the description below. All right, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.